Welcome back to John and Helen. It's um, a show on Plus TV Africa, channel 408 on the DSTV. And um, this is a show that is dedicated entirely, you know, to the affairs of the family and the society in extension. And today we are looking at something that is as powerful as mankind and as, as, as ancient as mankind, and that is culture. And culture is a very powerful driver for development. It ensures unity during crisis. It influences identity, debate, and dialogue. It is important for nation building and for peace and reconciliation. Having said that, this is the Easter weekend. Yes. Is there a correlation between culture Yes, we did say religion. Um, uh, usually, we would find a lot of culture being displayed mm -hmm, right? at this time. At this time of the year, but I think for some, is it still a strange Especially reason? Especially in the villages, <laughs> you know, masquerades yes. and but for obvious festivities. reasons, ob for obvious reasons, we we are not able to enjoy that this time out. What's the obvious reason? John? Obviously, we know about the pandemic, you okay. know, restrictions. People mm. are being careful about mingling here and there. Mm. So I haven't seen that much of an expression, you know, this time out. And uh, well, I'm sure that. Uh, uh, our guest today will... Uh... And, and especially Lagos used to be a beehive of activities at this point in time. Yeah. Apart from the trading and the crowding, you know, you would see some young people at different points, you know, doing some things. Yes, you said the pandemic, but the pandemic has not totally... Yeah, it is easing out now. So the normal, so to speak, is coming back to life. So would you say that um, the fact that we're not feeling this season... Is entirely pandemic. We, to a large extent, we are still stifled hmm. by measures, you know, okay. control measures. Okay. And uh, really, we cannot afford to drop uh, drop the our ball guard. yet. Yeah, drop our guard yet. Hmm. So, uh, well, culture is more, yeah. more than what we just talked about. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, Professor Mazi Nabwe Chigoze Bright. I'm sorry if I got if I murdered that name. And that is a crime because <laughs> now, we, culture is about your language. About you know you have to pronounce those names. You know, well, Professor Prof is from the Department of Ling <laughs> He's from the Department of Linguistics, uh, African and Asian Studies, the Faculty of Arts, University of Lagos. And uh, he'll be joining us at this point. I want to specially welcome you, Prof, to the program. Mm. I'm Prof. Welcome to the program and happy Easter to you. God bless. Ha! I can see you in your cultural attire. Eh? A traditionalist <laughs> like me. A traditionalist <laughs> like you. You're Mazi. Mazi Nabwe. All right. Like I said, welcome you to the show. Um, of course, you would agree that culture has been with us since the beginning of time, Prof. Uh, could you please take us through some of the evolutionary milestones of what we now refer as culture? Well, um, first you say, what is culture? Good. Culture is the manifestation of all that a people consider as appropriate and what being practiced in their community. Now, at the formative stage of every human community, the founding fathers conceive certain relevant um, uh, orientations which they design and then actualize to create awareness of what is appropriate, or what is considered appropriate, what is considered good, what is considered inappropriate in human uh, behavior within that uh, society. Mm -hmm. And these constitute the core values, norms, and the uh, mores um, that are meant to guide human behavior in such a, a society. Mm -hmm. And then the sole aim, as a matter of fact, is to make people aware of the environment and then to um, uh, to make them aware of the environment, to know their, their, their time, and then to uh, have, uh, know their identity. As a matter of fact, culture identifies everyone. A man's, uh, a man's um, 
personality is rooted in his culture. Mm. Hmm. Now you 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 used a few words that uh, I would like to latch on. Core to. values. You know, yeah, you talked about core values, but you you also talked about design. Yes. Does it then mean that culture is doesn't happen accidentally? That it has to be designed. No. You see, um, people found themselves in a particular environment. Now they have their eyes to view that environment, and then they have a language to explain that environment. And they now see themselves as people living together. Then, what is good for you? I know that if you have a million hair on your body, if I pull one, it will, uh, it will pain you. Mm. Therefore you will not like me to do that, and I will not like you to do that, then we will agree that it will be inappropriate to pull to one's, pull hand, one's uh, hair. Uh, hair. Uh -huh. So there are certain things you, uh, a people uh, consider these are good. Let us do them. Uh, then they become the culture, hmm. the norm. Uh, but these are not good. Let us not do them. Because if we do them, there will be no cohesion and uh, there will be no harmonious uh, uh, coexistence. Therefore, you avoid them. There, you have a, a culture and taboo. Okay. So ha having sorted that out, I feel a lot more comfortable. <laughs> so at least we've now seen the various shapes and forms over time in different areas, you know, well, that could happen in certain areas, culture you know, the coloration of culture, yeah. how it happens, how it is done. Now, from where we stand, how do we define culture in a layman's viewpoint? In a layman's viewpoint, uh, it is those things that are allowed to be done unhindered in a community where we are. The, it, it, it's all encompassing. It, the cloth you put on, mm -hmm. the food you eat, mm -hmm. and of course, the way you interact with others mm -hmm. in a layman's uh, language, language, it is the acceptable ways of behavior mm -hmm. within an environment, within a milieu, within a culture area. Okay, Prof, so would I be right to assume that culture is peculiar to the people's location and circumstances, yes. based on your explanation course, so far. Course. That is why you call it worldview. The place you are, like I am an African, I am an Igbo man. Now, uh, I will talk of Hamatan, I will talk of uh, rain. But uh, uh, that's dry season, uh, 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 wet season and, and the dry, dry. season. Mm. The uh, European will talk of snow and so on. You don't expect me to uh, begin to uh, talk of uh, snow. Winter. Or have yeah. a, um, okay. design my way of uh, living in such a way that I'll give way to uh, winter, autumn, and all the rest of them. Mm. No. So culture is, uh, I mean, a culture, environment defines culture. Sure. Wow. But I'm, I'm a little confused there, Prof. Yes, Does it then mean that uh, I cannot take my culture and practice it so in another, for instance, you know. Uh, there is a limit to what you can do because uh, mm. they will tell you that, uh, they will tell you that uh, if you go to a land where they have only one ear, they, uh, they practice having only one ear, yes. cut your own, put it inside your bag. <laughs> don't, really? don't throw it away. Okay. Then when you get to <laughs> another place where, you, uh, <laughs> you where, the, uh, where the norm is that you have it uh, uh, too, then you dip your hand inside your pocket and then bring it out. <laughs> oh, so that's that you a don't proverb. <laughs> that's a proverb. <laughs> well, we may say that's that. not we, you, may say, you may say it's an anecdote, but it's an aspect of culture. Yes. Uh, the, first, uh, the foremost uh, aspect of culture is language. Yes. And it is the language you use to explain. Yes, and I, and I know you. that where you come from, <laughs> you yeah. know, you are highly expressive in anecdotes and uh, proverbs. Thank you. That is one that, that I'll that keep. I'll keep that in my pocket <laughs> <laughs> and that, apply it. All right. So now, Prof. <laughs> now let's let's take a, a look at specific types of culture. What are the available types of culture, broadly speaking, okay. world over? Oh, maybe. World over will be wide. Yeah, of course, there, there, yes. Because you can't have one culture at yes. the same place. Okay. Even uh, within uh, the Igbo community, for example, where mm. uh, you have the, uh, cult the culture of kola nut, right? Mm. Uh -huh. yeah, in a gathering like this, I won't bring my kola nut and begin to, to, uh, share. to, to uh, break and, and uh, I'll present first to the, you are the next man there, I'll present to you. 
then. But why did you guess? How did you guess that I'm the next? No, no, because uh, my <laughs> sister, <laughs> by look, <laughs> is the female, so okay. she wouldn't touch the, she wouldn't touch the color notes. So I claim, I, I, I claim it. What happens if I touch the color? Nothing notes? will happen. <laughs> 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 that one will be off record. <laughs> that will be off my camera. <laughs> So now we will say the uh, we will say the blessing. Yes. Then when we say the blessing, then we will break it. And the, the way we break it is that um, with knife you cannot break it this way because what you what, and when you are praying you are praying for life, wow. uh, longevity. Therefore, but because the hand can the nail cannot uh, kill mm. the knife can kill. So if you are if uh, it is enough to go around when the, um, according to the loops then you don't need to cut. But if it is not, you use the nail and not the knife to cut it into, uh, uh, into small pieces. The reason being that um, um, the Igbo will say, where did the nail go that the kola did not get to everybody? Everybody must participate in the communion of uh, kola eating. So now, wherever you see the Igbo, wherever they gather, you must see them, kola not must first come. Mm. Then they ritualize it before any other thing, any other business can start. That is a living culture. Of the that's, the, that's for the Igbo. That's for the Let's Igbo. quickly move now on for, to one or two for, others. Uh, yes. For well, about one or two others. Yes. Uh, no, one or two other communities. I, I, I know that there is a place where you will get to. The moment you get there, the first thing they offer you is water to announce your work, uh, to, uh, to, to receive you on arrival. Well, I know that... Um, for everyone, his culture is the best, and everyone has his own. But the important thing is that uh, it will be difficult for me to say, uh, for these people, for these people, for these other people, this is what they do or how, mm. they, do, uh, how they live their lives, because I am not very much exposed to those of, of other cultures. So okay. I, I, don't, I stand to be guided, corrected, and uh, advised where I am wrong, but mm. um, I wouldn't like to go deep into what I do not know. But uh, are you familiar with the culture that allows people to give their wives to visitors <laughs> to entertain. <laughs> I heard, I, I heard, I, I heard, and I, 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 I just I, want, I, you know, no, Prof, no, I, I just want to, no, I, have, I have only Helen, heard, I have only, Helen, stay I have out only of heard, this, but I've never Helen, you stay out of this, so, Prof, and, uh, and if I get there, I won't practice it, oh, yeah. I wanted you to point me to the place, so yeah, that, me uh, to the place, yes, uh, well, I will, uh, it's uh, speculation, uh, in, if there's somewhere in Nigeria, so it, is, it is speculation, <laughs> but uh, I don't think that, uh, remember, Culture is dynamic. It yes. is not static. Static. Mm -hmm. yes. So such culture may have been practiced sometime in the past. Okay. But I don't think it is a. Aha. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. talking about the evolution I don't of think culture. It is, I don't think it's a stand talking now. Mm. Okay, the, um, Prof. I'm not um, professor. I okay, am, uh, Mazi. I, 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 I only associate with professors. You I'm not a professor. professor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are so many aspects to culture. Yes. Um, I, we hope that we have enough time to go into details now. Um, is there anything like a mixed culture? For example, you've been, um, you talked so much on Igbo culture. Yes. Is, is there anything like a mixed culture? Yes. Would the different types of culture easily, you know, can we easily you mix? You see, when a person is, in the, uh, is, born, is born into the world, he's born into a particular culture. Now, and the, uh, over time, he grows and mixes up with some other people. Mm. And then, the people he's mixing up with may not entirely be from his own community. Mm -hmm. Therefore, there are certain things they do which you don't do, or that certain things they accept as their culture, which you don't accept as your own culture. Then there must be a way. Like now, um, the idea, um, let me borrow your uh, uh, use of our system. The idea of women putting on uh, trousers. Uh, uh, trousers is not uh, uh, acceptable among the people, but today, <laughs> or was happening. not in the now, past. In some religion, of course, in the uh, in my culture, in ancient time, mm. a woman who gives birth to uh, a baby, even the inner one, will not will not put it because something should not pass through the uh, natural way of a, a child coming into the world. Okay. You don't tamper with it. Mm. But today, it is uh, the norm. Now, when you talk of uh, music. The type of music we had in ancient time, our oral music, is no longer what you have today. I don't know how many of our children or our, uh, uh, our citizens under the age of 30 who know what is uh, 
there in the village, especially those who were born and brought up in, uh, outside the community. Yeah. So even though they're in the community, they only see a part of it. Mm. Uh -huh. During occasions, like you said, mm. uh, certain occasions they will gather themselves, they will entertain people and disperse them. But when it used to be a living culture, where you wake up in the morning, uh, there is hardly a day you will not find it uh, being practiced somewhere. Then uh, it must be part of you. But now, I eat uh, spaghetti. I don't know what spaghetti is. Today, I drink uh, um, uh, what do you call it? chemical that are called uh, a wine. I do, it, there, it will be my pounded yam. Over time, uh, yam and cocoa yam. Over time, uh, cassava, cassava came because uh, cassava, my uh, uh, cassava is not an Igbo culture. But today, apple, 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 everybody talks of Igbo and the apple now. Over time again, other food uh, begin to uh, crop up. You have to, everybody's a child of his age, so you have to key in and then uh, mm. make sure that uh, mm. you no. don't, wow. uh, because the aim is to uh, maintain cohesion, yeah. to make, uh, maintain harmonious uh, living. No. We are human, we have to be humane. Yes, mm. now Mazi, I'm going to, be, I'm going to be unfair to you because you already told us that your space, is within the Igbo that is very true. Uh, but I, you see, that, that, may be, that may be my epic, but then. <laughs> yeah, but, but you see, this program, yes, right, caters for every, every one of us. Yes. And I'll start, I'll ask the question, yes. start off with an answer, and then expect you to complete it for me. The question is this within this space, this geographical space, Nigeria, oh, Nigeria. what are the distinct cultural differences that we have. For instance, the Yoruba man, um, this, is, this is my answer to start you off. The Yoruba man is likely, is more likely than any other uh, tribe in Nigeria to prostrate. Yes. So could you just give us a few pointers, you know, from key, key areas, because we can't go around, we can't go around the whole of Nigeria. Uh, well, I know that uh, for some, they will raise their uh, hands and then uh, in, in greeting. Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, it's a Rankadede, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Rankadede. That's from the north, uh, predominantly. From the northern side of this. Then uh, I know that uh, from um, uh, Idoma area, you, they, they greet Anya. Anya Cho, and, and then for, uh, from here, they will continue to greet and greet and greet and greet you. Okay, they will greet <laughs> you from here to you as, get to As we are CMS. growing, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> greeting and response will uh, continue. I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure I'm right well, indeed, over that. that. Then, uh, then uh, <laughs> for, uh, for us here in the um, south, in the, uh, south uh, there, are, the, uh, there is one aspect of culture which I find to be general, and that is asking after the home States. Okay. You must ask after the family because that is the most important position anyone could. Uh, so if you get on a phone get, call, yes, quick you, phone you, call, you must first ask. You, ask. You, you must ask. Okay, that's the year <laughs> you're talking about. Get up and do a lot of That's cultural, really. Cultural. Okay, how about um, handshaking? Is it? Um, Yes, COVID has said we shouldn't shake our hands, but we see it happening a lot. Even you see, that, uh, coming again to my own culture, where I will now go back. <laughs> you see, it, uh, even shaking is ritualized. Call, uh, greeting for me is four times. Okay. For the Igbo, four holds a dominant presence in almost all they do. Okay. Today, wow. uh, for, the, for you, today is the seventh day of the week. For me, today is the third day of the week. Oh, your week starts when? My, my week is four days and not uh, seven days. I have mm. a Keoria for Nungpo. I don't have a, a ah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh. So I have four days of the week. And then um, for me to greet mm. a gathering, I'll greet Ibo, Kwenu, Muono, Zuono, Kwezuono. Okay, four that's time, what he times. said. Hmm. Now, I will also, <laughs> and then if uh, we are try title holders, which I'm not anyway, they will first use the back of the hand three times. One, two, 
three, but because they are living human, which is four, they complete it with uh, the right hand. Uh, oh. But for a child to greet uh, an elder, he does not need to. Uh, mm. If the elder uh, brings out his hand, then the next thing is for the child to first use his own two hands and then wow. show obeisance, do obeisance to as a mark of uh, respect. Now, some other things. If in the morning a child wakes up from the he, it is incumbent on him to greet the mother and the father mm. and not the other way around. Mm. And remember, whenever you greet, it, you must respond. If I greet you and you don't respond, I will feel that I must have offended you. Wow. Then the next person I will say, I'll ask, please go and ask this uh, uh, and so. What did I do to him? I greeted him, he did not uh, uh, respond. Okay. Because you feel, now for people like uh, Ungwa area, it is a blessing. Mazi, Ndewane, Nawo, Nawa, for Kanka, Nkamarage, Dabere, Bewarachi, four times. Mazi. Now you said. Yes. Before we, before <laughs> we continue <laughs> with that, we will take a break. Yeah, okay. We'll take a break now. Wow. And we'll be back. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs>